Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. My name is Brijan and in our last video, we created this header which consists of a heading, number of elements present in our list, a delete button and a text input. So in this video, we will create a Firebase project and create a Firestore database and make a link to our front-end application. So for that, first of all, open your browser and search for Firebase. Click on the Firebase backed by Google. Now you need to sign in with your Google account and go to your console. Here you will see a button to create a new project. Click on add project. You can name it whatever you want. Let's name it shopping app writing. Click on continue. It also provides Google Analytics for your Firebase project for A-B testing, beta testing, etc. But for now we will disable it and create project. It will create a brand new project for you. Okay, it says your new project is ready. Click on continue. So here we are in our new project. As you can see, this is our Firebase dashboard. You can create apps for iOS, Android, Web, Unity, and Flutter, etc. Here we have authentication. Firebase also provide authentication like email password authentication, sign in with Google, GitHub, Facebook, etc. But what we are interested in is a Firestore database. So first of all, you need to create an app in your project so since we are using react native we will click on the web here you can name it your app let's name it the same you can give a different name than before now click on register app Okay, so here first we need to install Firebase on our project. So copy this command, open terminal and paste this and run this command. It will install Firebase in your project. Okay, so Firebase is installed in our app successfully. Uh, let me just reload this app. Okay. So now go back to your browser. And here you need to copy this code in your project. So first of all, let's create a new folder. Let's call it Firebase. And create a new file called index.js. Copy this code and paste this over here. Here we are importing initialize app from Firebase app. This is the most important part to create a link between Firebase project and our front-end app. It contains API key, auth domain, app ID, etc. And finally, we initiate a link between our project application is equal to initialize app and we pass this Firebase config object. So let me just save this. 
and you can continue to console okay so here it says we have one app shopping app yt here are the old configuration for our project so what we are interested in is firestore so click on the build and click on firestore database here we can create a database uh, in which we will store all our shopping items so create a database it will ask you if you want to start in production mode or you start in test mode so we will start in test mode here you can select a location near to you cloud location okay so our firestore database is created here we have collection and in collection we have documents so if you click on collection we can give a collection id and then we can add documents and each document will be a shopping item we will not add this manually over here we will create a firestore database from our front-end application and we will add documents through our app so minimize this window here let's discuss the structure of our shopping item so if you go to shop, shopping item here we will have a shopping item object so what we pass in a flat list will be an array which consists of many shopping item list and each shopping item will have three properties basically the first property will be id so each shopping item we will have a unique id because we need to pass an id into the flat list so that multiple items can be distinguished from each other the second property that we will have will be title title is nothing but the shopping item name so this bread if we add any milk etc so uh, it will be uh, considered as a title and third we will have is is check property so this is check property will decide if we have purchased the item already or not so user is able to check or uncheck this item by clicking on this but uh, this checked icon and this is check property will be a boolean so it will either have true or false so this is basically a structure of our shopping item object and we will create a collection named shopping list and in that shopping list we create multiple documents which we will consider as a individual shopping item. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it.